In each model's BF res, there is a folder called Textures. As the name implies, this folder contains every texture the model uses. There are multiple types of textures, each combining to the final result in game. This video will go over the multiple texture types and how to create custom textures for a model. Prefixes are used to determine the different types of model in a game. There's a ton, but most of it's self-explanatory. The ones on screen are the ones you probably want to edit. For this video, I'll be editing the museum's exterior. The file name starts with strc for structure, and then AO1 is the stage of the museum I'm editing. The interior starts with LDR instead of STRC if you're editing that. Opening the museum model with Switch Toolbox, expand the folder and click output.bfres. A preview window will open on the side to view the model and preview your changes. You can zoom in or out with the scroll wheel, move the camera with the left mouse button, and rotate with the right. Anyway, expand the bfres and you'll see all textures in the textures folder. Albedo Textures, or ALB for short, shows what will be rendered on the model before any sort of post-processing. They're what you're going to edit the most. EMI or EMI ORI textures control the light emitted from structures. Mixed textures control how shiny the texture will be. A good example of this is Kit Kat's helmet. The pink gradient is the most shiny part of the texture because that's just plastic, and plastic is shiny. And finally, normal textures give depth to the model. The game can go without a normal texture, but without one the model looks very flat. There are more texture types, so I'm not editing a model with those in this video. In the future, if I ever get around to making a dedicated custom villager guide, then I'll show the process of changing their name, personality, and clothing as well. Right click the textures folder and export all to a folder as PNG. When they're extracted, you can open them up in your favorite image editor and make the changes you want. I'll change the hue of the museum. You can do the equivalent in your photo editor. After making your edits, save the edited PNG and do the same for any other edited textures. Open Switch Toolbox and right click on the Textures folder. Click Replace Textures from Folder and select the folder where your edited PNGs are. You can keep everything in default when replacing. Now, right click the archive and save it. As usual, it must be named the same and compressed with ZSTD. Like any other mod, the file must go in the LayerDFS folder, and the edited archive must be in the same folder as in the ROMFS. This guide edited the museum found in the model folder, so it must be in the model folder for the LayerDFS. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to see future modding tutorials. Leave a comment or join my discord if you have an issue and I'll do my best to respond. My website has this video and future ones that aren't in video form completed, so if you'd rather read something now instead of waiting for the video, go ahead.